I'm Josiah with our Arduino Inventions and today I'd like to show you a little bit about my Arduino powered candy vending machine. Hope you enjoy. So right now we're looking inside the machine at just the coin rejection part of the uh, whole machine here. And the coin rejection is actually very simple. It's based on size of coins. So if we put a very small coin in, like a dime here, you can see that when I put it in, it fell in this hole right there. And that's because the dime is too small to go across these rails and down the uh, other side of the ramp, but instead it falls through the hole and goes out to the rejection thing where the customer can pick up their coin. Same thing with a penny and same thing with a nickel. Same concept, they're not big enough to ride along these rails on the side here to get to the rest of the ramp. But a quarter, however, is big enough that when I put it in, it slides across the rails and goes to the rest of the ramp. Complete. So the way that then this machine reads that your quarter went through and passed down this rail is because of this little thing down here. Now there's two wires sticking up. You can see these two little pokey things right here. And what that does is it senses if your quarter has gone down the rail. So I send power through this one and I see if power is on this one. So then when a quarter comes down there, it touches those two and then electricity is passed between the two and then the machine can read, oh, somebody put in a quarter because I have a high signal on one of my pins. So here is it in full action right here. And I put the quarter down, you'll see it go down the ramp and hit those two things. And then you'll see this actually move. It will uh, get out of the way and it'll let the quarter go into the coin bank. So here it is. You can see how when it hit uh, this at the end, it moved and the coin bank is directly under uh, this thing at the end and the quarter fell into the coin bank. So we'll do it one so more time. So a close up shot of it. I'll put the quarter in, it'll hit the wires and then hopefully you'll see it uh, go into the coin bank below. So here it is. 
So you see it moved out of the way, went to the coin bag. Here's one more time. So that's how the coin rejection works. And the way you actually get your candy is what I'm going to talk to you about right now. So once you put in your quarter, like I'm going to do, uh, it now knows that you paid a quarter and now it asks you your option. So I'm gonna press option A. And a good thing to know is this is option A, hopper, if you wanna call it that, and option B, hopper. So the way this works is you see this little tray uh, right here? It's going to move under this hopper right here. It's gonna fill up what's in this hopper, which is Mike and X at the time. And it's going to move back to the middle to where this ramp is carrying it out uh, to the outside of the box where the customer will get their mic and X. So I'm going to press the dispense button and then you'll see how it's going to work. So you kind of saw that there. It moved over to over here and it got what was in this hopper and then it moved back and dispensed it down this ramp that, which goes to the outside of the machine. So I'm going to put in another quarter and I'm going to select option B this time. So I'm selecting option B and now I'm going to press dispense. there you saw it went to the other hopper, hopper B, and that's option B. So you can choose which option, so that's kind of how that works. Um, so yeah. So last but not least, how does the owner get his profits out of the machine? Uh, this is the coin bank right here, and if you try to tug on it a little bit, it uh, doesn't come out, and that's because it is locked in there. This, uh, the servo motor that you saw inside with the coin rejection, actually has dual functions it gets it accepts your quarter and it also locks this there's a little uh, locking mechanism on it but only the owner knows that if you stick your finger in here go onto the side there's a little button you can press and when i press that the servo moves out of the way and it unlocks it and now i can pull it out with ease and there's all the quarters and then on the front, it says that it's ready in so many seconds, and it counts down three, two, one. And then the LCD says ready for business, and then this servo moves back to its original position, and now it's locked again. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, uh, please give it a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so that you'll be notified when any of my videos go live. That'll keep you really updated on this channel. Uh, one thing that I'm working on, a project that I'm working on right now, actually, is Arduino-powered Christmas lights synchronized to music. So the hope is when people drive by, they'll be able to listen to the music on, in their car, and they'll be able to see the lights uh, flashing and everything synchronized to music. So uh, if you'd like to stay tuned on that, subscribe, like, and that will keep the videos coming, and hopefully we'll be able to get some updates out on how the project's doing in just a few weeks, eventually the fi final project in just a few months. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.